What's up guys, Spinfire Arms here, and I'm pretty excited to bring this video to you guys because I've found an awesome product. So far I've only used it a day, but I've actually practiced dry firing with it, practiced drawing, practiced certain things with it, seeing how it could be released off in my pocket and stuff like that. And over here at this channel, I always talk about pocket carry because I think everyone on top of their main everyday carry, on top of their home defense, I believe every firearm owner that carries should own a pocket pistol for certain situations. Trust me, it makes your life easier. It makes your life to the point where you can do every activity still, but not be interfered with by your firearm, right? If you're carrying a Glock 17 around while you're trying to, you know, go on a walk to the park for three hours, you're gonna get uncomfortable at some point. Therefore, you can literally just take a Ruger LCP Max, toss it in your pocket, have a 10 plus one or 12 plus one setup, a 380 ACP, and you're all good. Just make sure you're choosing good defensive ammo and testing your firearms. But before we get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think about pocket carry. Tell me if this video will change your mind at all when it comes to pocket carry. Also, tell me what you think of this product, because I absolutely love it. Anyways, these are the Hog Holsters pocket holsters, right? I'm not sure if they have a specific name or anything like that, but they are Hog Holsters brand. And in the past, I've made videos about this company. This company not only has very thin holsters that have great retention and still work great, but on top of that, they have a lot of different holster options for models that a lot of other companies don't offer. For instance, right here, I just got my Mossberg MC2SC holster, and I know it looks a little different. That's what I thought at first, too. I was a little confused until I messed with this sweat guard right here. Until I messed with it. Until I realized that my belly will be enough to push that inward until I realized this will take shape of whatever is pressing against it, which is absolutely perfect. And I also carry this in gym shorts, and I absolutely love it. It is a great holster setup. I mean, this is just sick. Plus, it uses my favorite clip, my favorite Ulta clip, the 3M. And like I said, that is made by Hog Holsters, and you gotta love their saying, helping Americans wear guns. And that's just a fact. What more can you do than support a company like that? But the main focus for this video right here is these little holsters right here. Now I always talk about stuff like this. This is the Ruger holster that comes with your LCP, your LCP Max, and look at that. This does not say safety. This does not say an active lifestyle. This does not scream at me um, safe with pocket carry. It just doesn't. I can never carry in my pocket with this. The most I'll do is some of the other pocket holsters which are stiffer and made of different materials, but something like this I can never use, but I keep it around to show in videos like this. If this is what you pocket carry with and that's all you have, fine. But in my opinion, save up and get a full Kydex holster, a pocket holster. And what makes these so great is look how thin they are. They use very little material. And on top of that, instead of using the curved design as well as a thumb tab, they just use the thumb tab, but a different style of thumb tab. What I like about it is you can position it to however you like to draw. So for instance, this weekend, I tried it. I tried moving it around, trying different angles, certain things like that. And this is what I came up with. This little slant right here, which is almost how it came. It came basically with that slant. On my Ruger LCP Max is how I like it. But on this Glock 42, um, with the way the firearm is shaped, that straight on um, push tab is actually how I like it. But if you notice something, one, you're getting a full Kydex holster. So it's just going to be just as safe is what you're carrying in, you know, appendix or three o'clock, just like what I'm carrying in right now with my shield. Um, but at the same time, you don't have all the extra material, all the extra stuff, and it's super thin. So that is huge for pocket carry. When you pocket carry in something so thin, this is literally no bigger than an iPhone or a wallet, maybe just a little longer. But when you throw it in your pocket, it is very simple. It's going to be a little thicker, but not by much. And then when you go to draw, all you got to practice is pushing off with this, right? So you're basically going to push off and it flings, right? Do you see how that got launched? Great. Now that's not going to be in the video, but you see how it just launched off. So basically when you go to draw, you just got to practice that method. And it has great retention. I mean, these holsters have good retention in them. Um, but at the same time, that push tab works really well. I mean, they really fling off and now I'll probably have to go get that for the sake of the video. But I'm just trying to show and prove that they do work. Now, this is for a Glock 42. Like I said, this is for an LCP Max. Um, and I'm really excited to get one for my bodyguard. These are absolutely great, good quality. I like how they use very, very little material, which helps in something like pocket carry and it's absolutely minimized, therefore allowing you to be as comfortable as possible. And on top of that, it always goes back, sorry, I'm grabbing the other holster, it always goes back to the number one thing with firearms. At the end of the day, it's about safety, right? 
at the end of the day, it's about protecting people, protecting yourself, protecting your kids, protecting your family. Like I said, just innocent people that are around when a situation pops off. And when it comes down to that, this is this is great. This is having something on you um, no matter where you are. And I absolutely love stuff like this. So those are the hog holster pocket holsters. Um, I plan on getting them for multiple other pocket holsters that I have, but these are absolutely great. Um, a great design, so shout out to Hog Holsters. Check them out. Um, they're pretty sweet. So if you guys like that video, hit the like button. Like I said, drop a comment down below. Help the channel out. Help me get into the algorithms. Um, and also, this is a veteran-owned um, business, right? And I think that's very important to support companies like this. And what I mean by that is if you go online nowadays, there's a lot of companies that are making stuff from China, right? You're getting a bunch of cheap materials, you're getting cheap products, you're getting knockoff products, you're getting all that. I like keeping my money in America. I like keeping my money with people who love the firearms and have a passion for them and do it for a living. Um, and on top of that, there's nothing better than supporting the people that allow us to continue exercising um, these freedoms, right? Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. We wouldn't have the great life that we have without them. Regardless where you're at in life, we have it better than most places in the world. Therefore, you got to support veteran-owned businesses. It just is what it is. Um, as long as they're pro-2A and, you know, supporting what we support, then all support is should go to them. But anyways, those are the hog holster pocket holsters. More to come from them. Thanks for watching.